Those cheese heads are impossible to sign with that foam. But I'll try my best. I think if you're a real good trash talker, you'd go straight for looks. I'd say nine out of 10 guys find it funny. But you find that one guy who might think he's not a good looking guy and then he, he gets really upset at me. So that's when you know you've gotten in someone's head. Philip Rivers one time, I put a good lick on him and he said, is that all you got? That was, that's good trash talk for a quarterback. It doesn't seem like much, but it'll, it'll, it'll make you second guess yourself. It's all about the leave-in conditioner. You can't just hop out of the shower and just, you know, throw it up. You gotta take care of your hair and you'll get a decade worth of amazing results. Uh, the uh, Lombardi Trophy presentation up on stage at uh, uh, Cowboys Stadium. I have to say that's probably our most memorable accomplishment. Uh, I like playing at Soldier Field, just with the history there and it's a great atmosphere for a game uh, when the, you know, Packers and Bears get together. Probably Cam Newton. I think I've missed more sacks on him than any other quarterback in the league. And I'm talking gimme sacks too, so I, I, I'd put him up there at the top of the list. Hey, I'll take a hit or a sack, uh, pressure on the quarterback any way I can get it. So yeah, there's obviously uh, more gratification that comes from beating a, a talented lineman. Whatever cheese my wife puts on my sandwich for lunch, that's, uh, that's, the, that's my favorite cheese. <laughs> David would tweet at you know some of the stars of the film and, and they wanted to you know put us in the next movie. I told them it doesn't happen like that. But then uh, they sent us a script and if you bother somebody enough, good things can happen. Uh, no, no. You should ask Randall that question or, or somebody else. Maybe the females of the world. No, not really. I mean, I went to school not anticipating going to the NFL simply because, um, you know, I wasn't that good in high school and I walked on and that's not a typical career path that most NFL players take. Uh, definitely the food. There's more options, so that's probably, you know, what I miss most about uh, California or LA. Uh, deposit it. I mean, I still don't own a car. I'm pretty frugal when it comes to all that. Now, I get to go against David uh, probably every day at practice, obviously more so in training camp. I mean, he's has been awesome for our team and obviously for Aaron as well. Just for the record, I don't call him Agent 69. So I think the speed of the game really picked up and you couldn't take plays off and every play had to be your, uh, you know, had to be your best. I definitely would like to travel. I remember my rookie year, my first tackle that I came across who kind of gave me fits was uh, Donald Penn, who, you know, it seemed like he had a counter for every move I had, and, you know, it just required me to kind of pick my game up, uh, you know, that much more playing against, uh, you know, a pro bowl or all pro talent at the time. See, that came out nice. I gotta make sure no one spills beer, nacho cheese, and everything all over it.